now we are ready to load the vehicle on the tracks. Uh, so the way we're going to proceed is uh, we're always going to load the front tracks on first. We're going to use the ramps uh, which are provided uh, with the kit. Set it in front of the tire. Position the uh, track uh, and the ramp and uh, make sure that it is uh, aligned uh, correctly uh, with the front tire. Do the same thing uh, on the other side, uh, make sure that everything is aligned. Before you load the truck on the tracks, there is a few things you need to watch out for. We suggest that uh, you hook uh, the inside tensioner like this. There is uh, no danger uh, at all for the tire. As for the exterior uh, tensioner, it is always better to install it like this. Uh, make sure there is uh, nothing inside the, the track. Open the two uh, snow deflectors uh, so we can uh, climb on board. Make sure that the anti-rotation chain uh, is hooked uh, in this position so it doesn't uh, interfere and uh, doesn't get in the way. All there is left to do is uh, install the ramp on the track and make sure that you lock the drive wheel correctly uh, with the ramp. The way to proceed to do this uh, is uh, there is a position where to slide the ramp. Uh, so we're going to just install the ramp. And uh, we're going to move the track a little to lock it correctly. Uh, you guys always want to make sure that the drive wheel is uh, locked correctly uh, before you climb on board the tracks. To load the vehicle, make sure that you're on the 4x4 and in low mode. So normally the procedure is you're going to put uh, the truck uh, in neutral and uh, we're going to set it to 4x4 uh, four, uh, four low. And now we are ready to climb on board the tracks. Once the tracks are installed, you're going to need to move forward and backwards uh, in order to position the tires correctly inside the tracks. first time you install the track tensioner, uh, you will need to adjust the tension of the chain for the first time, but uh, the times you will be using it after that, uh, you will not have to uh, readjust it. The way to proceed is uh, first uh, we're going to remove uh, the small pin. So uh, when we do the adjustment uh, for the first time, we're always going to want to use the adjustment uh, which is the longest, like this. By installing the pin in this hole, uh, this is how you get the longest uh, adjustment. We're going to start like this and uh, we're going to remove the other pin. We're going to open up the tensioner and uh, install it on the chain like this. We're going to reinstall the pin. We are now adjusted at the lowest uh, position. We're going to grab the chain and uh, install it to uh, the closest link. So uh, in this case, uh, it is the last link. 
we're going to open up the track tensioner. We're going to insert the chain and close it. Reinstall the pin. Once it is closed, you're going to want to finalize the adjustment with the three holes in the center of the tensioner. You're going to want to use the highest hole in order to get as much tension as you can uh, on the track. Uh, in this case, uh, we can't reach uh, the top hole, so we're going to be using the metal hole. And now the adjustment is done. We uh, have uh, tightened the chain as much as we could. We will uh, reinstall the pin. And now the rear adjustment is uh, ready. Now we're going to adjust the tensioners at the front of the vehicle. Like at the rear, uh, we're always going to be beginning at the lowest uh, hole of the tensioner. So we're going to take the pin and put it at the lowest hole. We're going to open up the tensioner and hook it on the chain like this. We're going to close it. Now uh, you want to verify with the chain uh, which link uh, you will be choosing. So uh, in this case, uh, you would be using the third link, but uh, in the front, you always want to have a play of uh, approximately half an inch. We're going to use the second link. We're going to open up the tensioner. We're going to install it on the second link. And now we're going to close up the tensioner. So uh, as you can see, uh, we have a play of approximately uh, one inch. What we are looking for is a play of uh, approximately half an inch. Each of the holes gives you a play of approximately uh, three eighths. So uh, in this case, we're going to be using the hole in the center. We're going to remove the small pin to do uh, the adjustment. So uh, we have put it in the center hole, and um, as you can see, uh, it is uh, still uh, too loose. So uh, we're going to use the next hole. So now we have the half inch we've been uh, looking for. Just uh, reinstall the small pin. And now uh, you are done. Now we're going to proceed to the adjustment of the anti-rotation chains. The way to proceed is the, we're going to look on the frame uh, at the areas where we can hang the hook. In the case of this vehicle, there is uh, four different positions. 
there is a perfect area on every truck where you should uh, install the chain. Uh, to find it, uh, you will need to find the minimum length of the chain and also the maximum length. The minimum is at seven links. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take the seventh length. We're going to check the minimum length uh, under tension. In this case, we could use the closest hole or any of the other holes. So in this case, we have a chain that has a minimum length of seven links. Now we're going to verify which one of the other holes we can use for the maximum length of the chain. So it will be 15 links. Uh, we had seven before. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So using the 15th link, uh, we can use any of these three holes, but not uh, the last one uh, on the end. In a case like this, uh, you will want to use the center hole. What you're going to want to do now uh, to install the hook is put the chain under tension and uh, find the link that's in the center of the hole. We're going to add an extra link uh, from that uh, link that you just got and uh, install the hook inside that link. Now uh, lock it up with the lock pin. And this is how you should uh, adjust your uh, anti-rotation chains. Uh, for the excess chain, uh, what we recommend is to cut it. Uh, you're going to want to keep approximately this length of chain. It is totally normal that you get a sag like this in the chain. Uh, this uh, loose in the chain is what is going to make it so that you get a uh, 20 degrees uh, steering uh, angle. Uh, we are now getting to the last step of the uh, installation of the tracks. Uh, we have previously uh, installed all the safety chain. So now we're going to proceed to the attachment of the track tensioner on the wheel. We're going to remove the pin. We reinstall it on the hub adapter. We're going to pre-tension the tensioner manually. So now uh, using the 7-8 key that was provided uh, with the kit, uh, we're going to want to apply uh, pressure on the tires by uh, applying four half turns on the tensioner. We're going to use the 15 16th wrench to tighten the lock nut. Make sure it is uh, tightened firmly. So now we're going to flip back the snow deflectors. We're going to install the, the pin. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. And uh, we're going to repeat the procedure for the other wheels. At the end of the installation, you need to verify the uh, two out adjustment on the tracks uh, with a measuring tape. To do so, we're going to bring the truck forward 25 to 30 feet and let it go on its momentum. So now in this case, uh, we have uh, 85 inches and 5 eighths. And now we're going to measure the front. 86 inches and a quarter. 
So in this case, uh, this means we have a two out of five eighths. The two out adjustment always has to be uh, in between a uh, half inch and one inch and a half. If it is not the case, uh, you will have to review the video at 3.2, which is the adjustments of the guide rollers and uh, the two out adjustment. And at the end, again, uh, make sure that the front tracks are open by half inch to an inch and a half.